Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Custom Showcase, or as I'm now calling it, Pootis Customs. Only because I've realised that EVERYBODY uses the name Custom Showcases for their video, so it'll be harder to find my videos. Today I'll be looking at an industrial bully design, number 5. Number 5 was originally painted as Norman by a friend, but he sent it to me to keep so I could turn- so I turned it into an industrial looking engine. The face was already loose so I pulled it off and added the yellow ends along with the lining. The wheels were painted black and rods sprayed in silver spray paint. I added 1mm gems for the headlights in the holes where Dennis's face slots in. The engine is an alright runner but the switch is very stiff and gets stuck. It doesn't like to turn on good. Number 5 is a very strange engine out of the 7 locomotives on the Nettles Railway. It's an old bully diesel design that was illegally built, with only the front end having a major rebuild. It worked around the factory of the Nettles Railway, hauling mineral wagons of coal and other goods, hauling loads of big wagons and plenty of other work. After the factory closed, the engine was dumped to the road mysteriously without an owner. No contact to the owner or driver, nobody other than the engine. It was set to work as a second shunting locomotive to help the heritage line keep in shape with old Gronk. It wasn't used as much as it allocated with the breakdown locomotive, usually paired with the steam crane for any derailments or movement of large heavy equipment. Thank you for joining in on my newest installment of Custom Showcase. Next time we'll look at the number 3 goods engine. Thanks you for thank you for watching.